In recent decades, this story of Canada and the story of the US didn't change very much. That is, year after year until Obama. During the 2008 election campaign, Mr. Obama, in essence, said to the American people, stop everyone. Look around. Is this the real America we see? Iraq, torture, health care that has no place for tens of millions of fellow citizens, the exaggerated wealth and the exaggerated poverty and the exaggerated gap between them? Is this what this country stands for? Is this the American dream? Is this is the real purpose of all this freedom and liberty just more and more and more? More and bigger cars, more food, more things, more than we can really use, more than we even care about, more than is good for us as a people, as a society, as a planet. This obesity of body and mind and spirit that has crept into our lives and that seems unstoppable, is this us? No, Mr. Obama was saying, we are better than this. So what is the new American dream? What is worthy of America? That's what Mr. Obama was asking. And in November 2008, on Election Day, Americans responded. Americans want to believe in themselves. They wanted to believe in Obama because they wanted to believe in America again. I think Canadians want the same for Canada. Look at us. We are 33 million people, one of the world's largest economies, one of the world's richest nations. We have a huge and abundant land mass amidst a world of congested countries. We are safe, secure, and stable. Because of our Aboriginal history, their countless nations and their challenge to survive, because of our French and English past of different languages, cultures, religions, and laws, because we have people inside our borders today from almost everywhere, we are a country that is learning to live with difference, accept difference, learn from difference. When in the rest of the world, difference often, instinctively, still means guns and blood.